General and Justice Minister Grace Ibingira once said fate is a double crosser. For a man who tabled the bill, which later on became the draconian detention without trial law, Ibingira was among us the first victims of the law during the Obotawan regime. History has an uncanny way of repeating itself. Prime Minister Mama Mbawazi, who chaired the party disciplinary committee that expelled the four rebel MPs not so long ago, will now appear before it. This is after a unanimous decision sanctioned by the NRM party MPs last evening ruled that Mbabazi appears before the committee for violating the party code of conduct. Mbabazi, who came under what sources that attended the caucus meeting called a baptism of fire, was accused of using his privileged position as Secretary General to build a power base to contest the presidency in 2016. During the highly charged meeting, where the Premier was openly berated, the President played audio messages that further implicated Mbabazi. The Premier's wife, Jacqueline Mbabazi, who is the chairperson of the National Women's League, and his sister-in-law, Hope Mwesije, a former Minister for Agriculture, were also roped in. The two will also face the disciplinary committee. And so the President and uh, members of the caucus uh, proposed that they go to SEC, and then SEC meets them. Highly placed sources told NTV that the Premier was heckled throughout the meeting. Some of those who were baying for Mbabazi's blood asked him to resign. The President had to come tempers as Mbabazi threatened to walk out of the meeting. Mbabazi denied most of the accusations. The lawmakers resolved to appoint the Minister without portfolio Richard Todong to act in the capacity as Acting Secretary General. To be working hand in hand and uh, we proposed that he moved to the party headquarters and starts focusing all his energy in doing mobilization for the party. They also resolved to amend the constitution of the NRM where the Secretary General will be one without a constituency and with a young age to carry out the activities of the party actively. When we spoke to Mbabazi this afternoon shortly after attending the plenary session in Parliament, he accepted ceding grounds to his junior. You know, the President specifically announced that he would be responsible for mobilization. For now, Mbabazi will be a ceremonial and lame duck secretary general at his offices on Akibo Road in Nakasero. More research all.